Good blessed morning, everybody. Good blessed morning. Um, I wanted to uh, pop on here really quickly because it occurred to me um, something this morning. And, you know, this word is going to be coming from Genesis. Now, to get right into it, you guys know the story of Jacob and Esau, right? Esau was the firstborn to Isaac. And um, he came out, uh, and Jacob actually came out holding Isaac's, holding Esau's heel. Now, put it in perspective, these are the grandchildren of Abraham and Sarah. So, his son, now he sent Abraham, Abraham and Sarah already sent uh, his firstborn, Ishmael and Hagar, away. So immediately in this bloodline, we had a spirit of rejection. Because Ishmael and Hagar had to be sent away because he wasn't the God-ordained child that God promised him. Because Abraham and Sarah went ahead of... Uh, went ahead of God and that's where Ishmael was born so anyway back to Jacob and Esau so we know they were born at the same time you know they, they were they were twins Esau was bigger than Jacob Esau was the master hunter of the family and as being the firstborn Esau was sure to receive the blessing from the father Isaac son of Abraham Jacob listened to his mother and his mother told him to uh, to take this to your father now at the time Isaac was on his deathbed Isaac was very old when he was about to uh, give the blessing to his son and he was blind actually so he can only see by feeling So, um, Isaac's wife told their son, Jacob, take this bowl to your father. And to give some context here, he had told, he had asked his oldest son, Esau, to go out and hunt some game, which is some food, some meat. And, and probably in that time, it might have been boar or whatever. But he told him to go out and hunt some game so that he may have a nice meal. And, you know, uh, Isaac's thinking this is going to be his last meal. So he won't he want some gourmet. So not only does Jacob and his mom prepare a meal before Esau gets back. Jacob dresses up as Esau. Because again, Isaac cannot see. He can only feel. When Jacob brings the food to Isaac, he touches his arm and he feels the fur that Isaac normally wears, that uh, Esau normally wears. So he then passes the blessing to Jacob. Just as Jacob gets the blessing from Isaac, Esau returns with his game. And finds out that Jacob has stolen his blessing as the firstborn. <clears throat> now I wanted to give that little backstory to basically put into context how we deal with situations is important I wanted to put that into context because there's a lot of people and I've had the, I had the pleasure of speaking with a lot of people yesterday and that's what kind of sparked this video today you know I, I talked to so many people yesterday and um, getting in my, my, my teachings this morning on the spirit of delay The devil will send counterfeits into your life. Jacob was a counterfeit so that he could steal 
the blessing from Esau. But understand, it was not Jacob's intention. It was his mother that wanted Jacob to have that blessing. But it was never Jacob's birthright to have that blessing. So it was stolen from Esau. Every time I go somewhere, <laughs> just people just drift towards my car. Um, but that, oh, you pain. I wanted to uh, bring that up to talk about the spirit of delay. And I bet this guy gonna flip a U. He ain't got nothing else to do. Because Esau was delayed in the wilderness hunting game like his father asked him to. That allowed, um, I want to say, these spirits to manipulate uh, Isaac's wife to manipulate Jacob to steal the blessing because he was the only one that can. And it really speaks to how we have to be ever vigilant, you know? We have to have discernment. You know, every, every day you have to ask for discernment. You have to renew your discernment because you don't get a lifetime supply. You don't. Every day you have to renew your armor of God and pray it over you and your family. Because when you don't, you can end up like Esau and your birthright, your blessing can be taken from you. You could be doing everything that you that you know how to do right. Just like Esau was, because he was the firstborn. It was naturally his. And then the devil gonna come to your mom, gonna come to your brother, gonna come to your sister, gonna come to you in your mind and tell you that ought to be yours. Why don't you step out of the will of God so you can have what ought to be yours? Not what God gave you. Because that's where God will bless you and what he gave you. So, that's the message for today. Um, dealing with the spirit of delay, which we every day we got to renew that, rebuke that sucker every day. You know, every day we got to renew that, just like with the armor, just like with, um, you know, just like with knowledge. Like, we have to constantly renew these things so that we can always be aware, always be on guard. But, you know, today I want you guys to be aware. I want you guys to, I uh, pray that you guys have, um, it slipped, slipped my mind. I'm thinking about this uh, this watch right here. Um, you know, I, I, I want you guys to have discernment. You know, every day you pray for discernment so that you can be able to see through the enemy's disguise because he will come as as things you never expected, and God will always come. With such an innocent heart but you must have that discernment so today are you going to be um, are you going to be Esau or Jacob and to give you a little bit more backstory now Esau still got the blessing Jacob had to go through hell and high water when he did find a wife um, his mother sent him because Jacob was Esau was so mad at Jacob that Esau was going to kill Jacob. But his mother sent Jacob to live with their uh, to to live with their uncle. And Jacob, this is a weird time, but Jacob fell in love with his cousins technically. So, um, but he had to work twenty one years of hard labor. So because he stole that blessing. Esau, not Esau, but Jacob, had to pay for that. And he had to work 21 years, seven years to get his first wife, who wasn't Rebecca, or, or you know, who wasn't the wife he wanted, because he wanted the youngest one. After working seven years, his uncle said, It's not our custom in my land that we should marry the younger before we marry off the older. So he had to work seven years, and he had to work seven more years to get his original wife. So he had to work 14 years to get both of his wives. Then he had to work an additional seven years. So now we had 21 years. 
he had to work an additional seven years to gain his freedom. And even then, his wives stole from the house of their father. So his father pursued them to get back the false idols that they had stolen. But Jacob had to go through hell and high water for 21 years, all because he stepped out of the will of God. So you see, when, when you step out of the wheel and you mess up, it takes so long to undo that mess that you stepped into. Now you guys can read the rest of the story. I'm, I'm not going to go into that, how, how, um, how Jacob fought the angel um, and how him and Esau was about to go into battle, but they uh, they reconciled right, right on time. Or they would have killed each other and, and, and the uh, and the nation that they had raised. But um, Jacob had to go through so much because of that spirit of delay. But it's also because he stepped out the blessing that's on his life and wanted to steal the blessing that was someone else's. You know, he had to go through 21 years of hard labor. But he endured it and got it done. So that's the message for today, man. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this hits home for you guys. Um, you guys be blessed, man. I pray the entire arm of God over you all. I'm going to go ahead and get started working today. You guys have a good one, okay?